Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. Okay. Hi Deb. Hi Tony. Hi Sue. Joanne and Cindy and Barb and Vicki. We got the crew. Okay. So I never got this set, but I did get the paper because I did a, a paper share, which I'm going to be doing again. I already started like trying to figure it out, but I might need Tony's help. Um, <laughs> I'm not so good with numbers. So let me set these aside and show you my first. This mat's getting like really bad. Hi, Joan, Patricia, Betty, Fran. Who else did I miss? So this is card number one. Just using it up. And then I'll show you. I'm not going to demo these, but I was also, I did these. But I'll show you how I cut the paper. I'm going to be doing a lot of them, I think, in my spare time. <laughs> spare. Okay. So everything's ready. One of the cards takes a little bit longer. These are pretty, pretty quick. So I didn't use a lot of ribbon and stuff like that. So it's going to go pretty much together. Whoa. It spat at me. Okay, Mossy Meadow. Mossy, Mossy. All right, let's get these stamps so that they dry. So we got this one. And until you glue it down, it doesn't matter how you stamp it because it's a circle. Could have been that way a little bit more, but fine. And then you are my true north. And we have to make sure we put the north in the north. Uh, please, I only cut one. Huh. <sighs> okay, so we're going to set that one aside. This one, we don't have to be too careful. Hi, Sean. And like I said, it's a circle on a circle. So until I put it on the card, eh. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Rosemary. Oh, it's good. Okay, so uh, north. All right, it's upside down. Okay, so that is going to go right there. You have to go to the eye doctor to be able to read it. Or you have to send it to somebody who doesn't see very well. So simple... We like our simple cards, right? This is the one I don't want to, like, smudge. And it's shiny in spots, so I know it's still a little wet. So we'll blot it. Can you see it? And now it's not even. Move just a hair. Just a hair. Okay. Got it. And then I cut these straight. That one's all right. And 
and I didn't pop anything up on this one. You can stay there. I'll just tickle it in a couple spots. Shocking. <laughs> oh, thank you. I gotta love my color street. Love them, love them. Okay, so that was card number one. Easy peasy. So it shows you, you don't have to um, stick with one set, with one, you know, set of paper. Which one do I want to do next? I'll do this one. I'll save the other one. Okay, so this one I'm changing a little bit because I did this on white. And then before I put it together, I just sponged what was left on the yellow. I did the same thing on, on that. And then I'm going to stamp the ship a little bit darker. So the one thing I want to tell you about this. Oh, I threw it away. What I do to make sure that those pieces don't fall out, because I have one that... They did fall out, but I didn't like the way that looked. I wanted them to stay in. I don't know. So when I put it through the machine, I cut like another piece on top of it. So this is your bottom piece and you're cutting two at a, at a time. So the top one will cut. And this, if I pushed it, they'd probably fall out. But there's certain parts that it didn't go all the way through because of doing that. Yeah. All right, let's do the ship. Uh, it's the big one. And we're going to do that this time in soft suede. Just so we can see it a little bit better. Oh, I should clean that. I'm going to need that again in a different color ink. Okay. I feel better. All right, so that's going to go there. Now, let's see how straight I can do this. This one I want in the cinnamon, cinnamon cider. Don't lose that. And oh, here it is. So we'll see if I can get this kind of straight. Could have used the stamparatus, I suppose. But but you know me. Let's do it this way. Maybe I'll be able to see it better. Do -do. bad. And then that one. I should have planned it better. Who cares? Okay. That's done. I'm happy. So let's put it together. Everything is stamped. It's a shame to cover that up. It's so pretty, right? Oh, I know what I did on the other one. Well, it's not being done on this one. I put like a couple layers under it so that it gave it a little bit dimension without popping it up. Is that one of the things I'm supposed to do? Remember how I did the card? Hmm. 
interesting, I'd say. Okay, that's going to go there. So that covers this down here. And then it doesn't look like it's so uneven. And then I'll trim that off. Yep. That's how it's going to go. Oh, I even put this right side because there's words on it. Let's trim that. Uh, where's my bigger scissor? This has glue all over it. Can't believe I did that when I was trimming some stuff. Come on, Gail, you can do it. <coughs> Let's try that again. <sighs> she kind of did it. All right, so then this will go on to the cinnamon citer paper. So tomorrow we get to pre-order. I'm so excited. But I hate when they do it on a Thursday. I like when they do it on a Tuesday. And then that goes on to that. And did I use? No, I used vanilla. That's why. Okay, this we're going to pop up. And in case that those are a little loose, these like hold it all together. So I'm going to put four. Yeah, why don't you put it on top of the other one? So then that can go there. And then this is from the Manny, Manny, many. <laughs> oh, many messages. And that's stamped in, hey, I did put glue on it. It's just going to take a second. Stay, Mama. Okay. So you can see the difference. I, really, I might stamp it again. And on this one, I had two, three, actually. And then I went around it in the cider. So it, it just gave it a little bit of dimension. But I like it with the darker ship. Oh, ship. Okay. So that was card number two. Now we'll do the retired one. <laughs> well, he's not retired. So we're going to do him first. Get him out of the way. And we'll stamp that sentiment. So that's from a good man. And of course I could have used relax your way or something. Okay, so we've got that. Life is beautiful. Now we want this. And then I'm going to have to cut him out. Thanks, Angie. Oh, you did your pre-order. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Lucky you. I know you guys are a day ahead of us, which just seems like too weird to me. Okay, so of course my colors from here are going to be 
a little different than here because I wasn't really thinking when I like threw everything together. So I'm using ivory for his skin. And then it looks really bad, like when you color on um, on cardstock, like you're like, Wah! but then it dries. They kind of all look, you know, the same, but then it dries. And I wouldn't do this like, I think I, I'd rather use pencils on this kind of cardstock because your ink will absorb into the paper like really fast regular cardstock so that's his knee his pants are up there and his other arm and his neck so no shadows we're just coloring him in straight you see how it's already lightening Lighting, lightening. Okay, so I don't know why I did his hat in blue, but we're using light seaside spray because everything else he's green. And we're going to do his shirt. Yeah, this is a new one. I think I can do that. Oh, is this the light? Thank goodness. Okay, so we're doing his shirt in the light olive. Um, yeah, I almost colored that as his shirt. Whoops, that was his pants. It's okay. It's a okay. Okay, now his pants I'm using the dark old olive. And that's his pants right up there too. He's very matchy-matchy, except his hat. Okay, and then for the chair, like, you could do stripes, but I just kind of colored it in and said, like, those panels are all one color. And I did that because it was easier. Like, no fuss, no muss, just color it in. And then, yeah, that goes. And then there's a little spot right there and there. And the rest would be like the chair, the hardware. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, so this is that part of the cardstock. Now it does have like little words on it. Okay, tree. So we're going to stamp the retired tree, and I apologize. So soft suede. I did have a piece of paper to use, but OK, 
Okay, and then we're going to take the leaves and we're going to do them in Old Olive. So we want the leaves to be in the right direction. You'll see how I clean that up. Um, now I need that piece of paper. Eh. Okay. So then we're going to take and mount this also on Mossy Meadow. Um, let me put this back because now it like stopped moving. Thanks, Angie. And I guess I may as well put this right to the card base, which is crumb cake. And then these are all going to be popped up. It's right here next to me. I know that's a lot for that, right? And then this one, I kind of zigzag them. So let's do him first. <laughs> Pre-order. I can't wait. And I will have my stuff on Friday. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll do before. Like, I, I don't think I'll really start for two weeks if I can stand it. Yeah, see, his skin came out darker. It's okay. And then we're going to put right up across the tree, life is beautiful. So right on DSP, we have created a card. i got to put insides in these. Okay, so that was card number three. Card number four is this one. Oh, the last one has a story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, this one I'm going to try and stamp properly. Oh, I put that away. Because um, this one, I put a thing over it. The whole card is darker, looks better. Oh, who said that? Hi, Gail. First time catching you live. Well, I'm glad. What was the stamp set with the tree or the guy? The guy is a, a good man. The tree is life is beautiful. And for some reason... I thought it wasn't a retired set. 
and I've used it several times this year I think okay so we're gonna stamp Ooh, I've got ink all over the back of this we're gonna stamp that guy right there yeah he's leaning too all right then we're going to stamp the ship, the one that I cleaned off and put here. And that I'm going to do in black. So we're going to put the ship right there. Then I'm going to stamp the birds. I'll do them in black also. So we'll do one, two, and partly off. All right, now we're going to take the light seaside spray and we're going to color right on the DSP um, mm -hmm. we are going to take light cinnamon cider and we're going to do the boat there then we're going to take i knew i had this out for a reason light crumb cake and we're going to do the rest of the boat with that and then just a little bit here and there then a little pool party that's like mint macaroon run macaron where'd my pool party go I put it in the wrong spot okay so then we're gonna take put some just around the ship I think I didn't cut the uh, thanks out hmm. all right then we're gonna take the crumb cake again and just put in a little color here oh I did do it you're the woman taking a bow taking a bow okay oh la di da la di da with the glue hi Char this DSP is, I always want to call it Old World Map, but that's not what it is. It's good, wait, I got it right here. Good, good, not a good man. I have a list that I'm going to put on YouTube. Um, doot, 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 doot. Really, Gail? Where'd it go? Love, basic white, basic white, Duke crumb cake, mossy meadow, sand and sea, world of good, world of good. It's retiring, but I'm going to be posting like links to everything on YouTube. Okay, so then this is going to get glued to that.
The last one's my favorite. That's coming next. I laughed at that one today because that has a big goof on it. Um, all right, so now we're going to stamp that little teeny thanks. And we're going to do that in early espresso. Right side up. And this is also from the Manny. Why do I want to say that? Many, many, <laughs> many mates. Oh, Manny. I'll be saying that all year. Yep. All right. So we have the thanks, and then somewhere here. We just need a little piece of this. Where'd I get all this color on me? Most of that's going to get covered. That's all right. Okay. So what I did is I spread this out and then like picked it. A little pick pick here and a pick pick there. I took a little bit of tape oh it's actually in the fiber who cares only a little sticking out oh you don't even see it and then we're gonna pop that up how did they get all the way over there Because that's where I keep putting it. <gasps> and then that is going to go right there. Mm -hmm. See, using up this DSP. And I have to put insides in. But I want to use vanilla. And I don't have any cut yet. Okay. So, last, but not least, because then I will, if I if this doesn't take too long. So, this paper is not from that one. Let's see if you know. It's from the seashells. This is from this other paper and I pre-did the little the little guy so what I did and this is just the other piece that I used from here and you can see it has all the old world stuff on it so this side I'm gonna use here and it looks like that's about about right it's gonna be a little shorter than the other one but that's okay And we're going to have to cut off a little piece on each side. If my fingers and scissor will allow me. Perfect. Okay. Now, if you remember what I used from Paper Pumpkin and for anybody who didn't see that video these little ends came up and went around and up here and went around and I snipped them off because they get in my way so I am gonna first take uh, some gray granite So, a lot of people would use that mountain first. I was playing with that side, and it looks a lot like clouds. 
It's pretty. I like this side. So I'm going to start out. And where do I want them? Let me kind of, because I know this one came out good. So, so I'm going to go down to about here. That's not the one I wanted. I want that one. <laughs> what a dope. I'm like, that doesn't look right. Just get in there right. Okay. I was like, it's not supposed to have anything underneath it. Okay. Then... I think I'm, well, I'll do a little bit, just a little bit of this. Let's do, no, we want it to be different. You want to move it so it doesn't, you know, look like you're just layering up the same thing over and over. Okay. I didn't want that to happen, but it did, but it's okay. Gotta love it. Um, all right, so now we're going to do the loo. So I'm going to take, I don't want that one. Yes, I want this one, Misty Moonlight. Where's my scrap paper? And the stencil. So you have to avoid hitting like up there or like right here. But we're going to go over the same spot. And we're going to use the right color. Dummy. And stay away from the straight thing. Yeah. I like it. And then we're going to move it over. So I don't want to hit up there, and I don't want to go all the way to the bottom. So that you have, see, if you have, whoops, if you have that lighter color in between the two, then it looks like one is behind the other. Man. Don't hit the line, Gail. Don't hit the line. See, I'd like this thing in the middle not to be there. I would like this piece and that piece. That's what I would like. Because then that can't happen. But it, it's all right. It'll kind of blend in with the sky. So I'm just going to blend that on the ends. Okay, so then I'm going to take the pool party just to make this look a little different. Not much. We just want it to look a little different than the sky. It's all an illusion anyway. Like, I would like to take that one and blow it up and hang it on my wall. 
this is starting to go dry. Okay, now we're going to take the ship, and I didn't want it to be real dark, so I did it in the misty moonlight. And I'm going to put that right there. And then take... Then take the light crumb cake. And we're just going to color in the boat. And then take the pool party. But I'm going to grab the dark pool party. Like that. Okay, so now <laughs> this was the best. So I stamped this in like in a different color and I didn't like it, so I wanted it to be darker. I think I did the um gray granite. So the first one was right here. And I said, oh, I'll bring out my stamp -a jig that we used to sell. Haven't used that in years. So I take it and I line it up and I stamp it onto the clear thing. And then I go over to here. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I just lined it up and I had this still to the edge. But I never took it and moved it down to the plastic so when I stamped into it it was there <laughs> instead of where I wanted it <laughs> I'm like what a dummy <laughs> but that's what happens when you don't use something for so long but I was laughing like that's all you can do right um okay so I want those I'll do them in the brown or maybe I'll do those in the misty moonlight too um, no, I'll do them in the brown. Make up, somebody make up my mind. All right, so soft suede. We're going to go one and a two. And I'm hitting them right where those little marks are. So it looks like as they're going, they're pooping. Uh-oh, I just lost the screen. Come back, screen. <gasps> there we are. I don't want to lose you guys. Okay, so anybody see where I put the insides to this? Oh, they're still inside. All right, so we're going to put this down. Bless you, honey. He didn't hear me. All right, now we're going to take this and I'm going to use an itty bitty dot on his itty bitty head. And I think hers should be okay. I don't think I put more than one on last time either. Oops. Bless you. So I'm going to take that dot off. I mean, this just makes it when you add them to it. A whale. Yeah. But our whale's too big. Oh, I bet you on that, I might have a couple sheets of that paper left. Bet you there might be like a mini one on it or a turtle coming to the top but if I could make this bigger 
And I, I said that to my husband. I said, no, I'm not getting into painting. I, like, no, out of the question. Ain't nobody got time for that. Might go to one of those uh, paint and sips, though. Okay, let me just clean this, and then I will show you real fast how I cut those pieces. Uh, somewhere is my rag. Am I sitting on it? No. This is alcohol I have in here. Okay, so you take a, these don't match, What if you take a, a piece that, that has like two sides like that to it, that, you know, match, like I don't really like these two together, but you'll have other papers that you could mix with that one. Nope, oh, there's one. So what I do is, let me raise that up. Let's see, are we in? So the first one messes me up. But I put one on two and the other on one. This has some glue on it, so it's sticking. So if that one was on two, then this time, this is going to be on two. And you can make them different sizes. I just didn't. So then one and two. So you get a whole bunch of them. And then whatever size card you're going to use. So then you're going to lay them out. We'll go this way. So that side goes that way, and then the thinner side goes that way. Now, on some of these, or one of them, two of them, I left like a space. So if you're not leaving a space, like I did on this one, I just butted them up. It doesn't matter what paper you put underneath it. Got me? But if you're going to do it the other way and leave a space, you just match whatever paper you want. If you're going to coordinate with other colors, and then you just keep, you know, going that way. Now, this one, I use two different colors, both sides, so I changed the patterns as I did it. But they're fun, fast, easy cards. And when I glue it down, I take like this, put put my glue down, and then go at it. Get to a spot and then do more. And if you come to an end, like I kind of ran out of space there, it doesn't really matter because your, your eye doesn't go to that. So... Like, you don't notice it unless somebody says something. Even if they start to get, like, slanty, it, it doesn't matter. But that's another way of using up odds and ends. I just have too many odds and ends to use up because not having... I'm, I think this next catalog, I'm going to start doing classes. And I just have to work out how I have to do it. I know I've said it before, but this time I'm serious because... Like, I end up with too much left over. So, let me bring these back. We got... This is the one we just did. And that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. And I'll take pictures of the other couple... I'll post them, and, um, yeah, you know what other scrap was, like, 
do you remember last week when I cut out the flowers out of that one paper? So I still had half the paper, and that's what one of these cards... Oh, maybe I didn't finish that one. I cut it. I guess I didn't put it together. But that's, that's what I started doing with them. Oh, that was the one with the stripes. I think I did it, and it's somewhere. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got it all. So that's them. I'll post everything. Um, on on YouTube, I'll have all the... Um, all the deets from from these will be on there in the description. Maybe I'll, if I can, transfer it over. It's, I don't know. It's a lot of links. I don't know if I'm doing it right either. But anyway, so thanks everybody for being here. And um, yeah, in a couple days I'll be playing with new stuff. Uh, I hope I can stand it. I don't know, <laughs> but not showing you for a while. Maybe I'll do like a box opening or just show you what I got, and then you'll talk me into doing those. Anyway, thanks, and I will be back on Saturday, and again on Sunday. You know my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. See y'all. Thanks for being here. Night.